disturbing accusations are coming out against a White County businessman tonight. He was arrested and charged with offering to pay a young girl for sex. Our Susan L. Corey is looking into what happened. The man we're talking about is Mohammed Arif. I talked to him on the phone today. He didn't want to do an interview, and the only thing he did tell me is he's never been in trouble before. Less than two hours in the White County Jail. That's all the time accused sex trafficker Mohammed Arif spent locked up before he got out on bond. He was arrested months after a 15 year old girl claims he drove her home in May. What she says happened during that car ride is explained in this Judsonia police affidavit. The girl told detectives the 52 year old said he'd give her money in exchange for a sexual act. You're soliciting sex for with a minor. It's troubling for Cassonia Vincent, who's heard similar stories working with sex trafficking victims. It's very concerning. I mean, adults should have interactions with people their own age. The girl brought evidence to police, saying after she was propositioned, she started recording their conversation on her cell phone. It was really smart, quick thinking on her part to get proof that this really did happen to me. When officers questioned Arif, they played those recordings. The affidavit says he admitted knowing the female victim was a minor, and he went on to say he was embarrassed and concerned about people he was close to finding out. All of that could now be used in court, but advocates like Vincent know the victim in this case is taking a big step to even talk about what happened. Sometimes they won't say anything because they're afraid that no one will believe them. They're, they're going to believe this adult. That car ride happened in May, but the girl didn't go to police until almost three months later. Police aren't saying if the two had any contact in between then, just that the affidavit was all they needed for an arrest. Back to you.